Welcome back to Austin Bro Bricks and Cars. In today's video, I will be reviewing the 2023 Spire Tank set from Mandalorian Season 3. This is set number 75361. Comes with 526 pieces and retailed for $50. Um, it comes with uh, Mando, Grogu, and Bo-Katan, uh, which this Bo-Katan I find more accurate than the one from the... Um, the Season 7 Clone Wars set. Um, I think she even looks more accurate to that than the one they um, put in that set. Um, Mando in this set comes with the newer Dark Saber mold, which is, I really like that mold. I really like how they include all the arm printing on the Mandalorian. Um, and he comes with a little pistol and a jetpack. Um, he does have a printed face. The helmet is very similar, I think is like the same as the one that's in the UCS Razor Crest or close to that. Um, and then bo -Katan's helmet is in this lighter blue where in the Clone Wars thing set, it's a darker blue. Um, I do, I think this is a little more accurate. Uh, I may be wrong on that, but I think that's but, um, and Then she has arm printing both sides, which is really good. She also comes with a jet pack. Um, she's a hair piece. Um, oh, the head printing is very good. Um, two blasters. Um, yeah, a lot of good printing on the figures. Um, Grogu's just the same. I think it would have been cool if they included his pram because, uh, he was in that in this episode. Um, and so I think that would have been cool. Um, then I'll get to the build now. Um, I like how that you do the, like, claws on the front or things. Um, it's a really cool build for the head. Also, how this is, um, like how the, like, this come, these tubes come down. I think it does a good job with that. Um, I like all these side details, um, with the translucent pieces. Um, there are six legs. I really like the build for them because it allows it to kind of just go down a little. Um, then a cool feature that's in here is uh, stud shooters are hidden well, which I, I, I like because in a lot of sets you see them um, out in sight and don't really, and they're not easily hideable and you have to like take them off and then figure out a way of kind of replacing that spot where something is supposed to go. Um, I think they do a really good job at angling things on this. There are a lot of cool techniques for that. Um, I like how they use these. Um, pieces that are like rounded. Um, they do a good job with that. The back isn't really anything special, but these are like what the back of the legs look like. They're all technic, but I, I don't think it's, I don't think there's too much technic in the set. This is what the bottom looks like. It looks pretty clean, not really too much um, stuff you don't want to see. Um, yeah, I like the pieces they use for the like to hold the claws in place. Those are pretty cool. I haven't seen those pieces before in a set, but I'm guessing they've been around for some period of time. There aren't really any weird colors sticking out other than those brown pins, but um, yeah, I, I think it's a pretty good build. Um, I, I don't think you should get it though if you just if you just want to get the figure of Bo-Katan. Um, but if, I mean, unless you don't have a set with her in it I think it might be a good purchase but if if you already have her I don't think it's really worth it um but I think it's a decent build um and okay building experience but um I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I can't wait to see you guys in the next one